Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bermuda Cricket Board. I'm here to um, congratulate a bunch of very important people. As you may know, the vision of the Bermuda Cricket Board is connecting cricket from the grassroots to the world stage. And the world stage stuff gets a lot of attention. But the foundation of everything we do is the youth and the recreation of cricket. And over the last few years, we've really struggled to find enough people to help the young people play cricket. There's so many kids that want to play, and it's important for us to provide an environment they can learn that in an effective and a safe manner. So I'm very proud that there are some citizens here, some people involved in the cricket community that care enough that they want to help and they've come on and been recently certified at international ICC level one by our former national coach David Moore. And there are 34 people here and I congratulate them all for their effort and their values and their contribution to the sport. Thank you. All right, you've done this coaching course. Um, what are some of the things you will take back in your coaching uh, and we're coaching you, what, what are some of the things that you've still in making sure that uh, what you've learned uh, can be applied? Um, one of the most interesting things is that I've been playing cricket for a long time. Ever since I was a little boy, so I was like in Sri Lanka, from Sri Lanka. Um, so cricket's in my blood. I uh, played for the Police Service and school cricket. Now, um, when you're playing cricket, you do certain moves and you perform what you need to do on the field. But as a coach, you have to break everything down. And one of the most interesting things I found was breaking every little movement down to the intricate details in order to impart that knowledge to the, the kids that are playing. Because that's very, very important, I think. Now, how difficult was it for you to take that information in and then try to disseminate it out? Um, not that difficult, because I t I'm a teacher. I teach at Work Academy. so. I'm trained to do that, but um, it was very challenging nevertheless um, because there's a lot of information to get out in a short space of time. Okay. All right, Joseph, obviously you've been helping out with the National Academy program. Um, you get involved in different things at different times. Mm -hmm. and what did you think the significance of you having the level one coaching course on the about would do to make you uh, a better coach? Um, basically, I've been helping with the clubs for about two years before I got the certificate. And the certificate allowed me to come on board with the national team and install some things in the, in the youth there. What, what, are you, what is one of the, the fun things you like about teaching the game of cricket to youngsters? Um, just breaking it down for them, step by step, and watching them fulfill it the next week. Okay. All right, James, you've been playing cricket for quite some time. Uh, is there anything that you learned in the course that uh, you didn't know going in well, while while you were playing? Well, I mean, I think you know, I mean, growing up, I you know, I, I never had you know like um, anybody you know coaching me. We just went out there, you know, I mean, and um, and I played. But after taking that course, I realized there is a lot of you know little things, little mechanics, you know, that you know maybe if I had that sort of training in the past, you know, I mean, I'd be a you know um, a better player. You know, so the course, you know, I mean, has uh, I mean, has allowed me, you know, to learn these little things, and that is what I want to, you know, impact on the um, on the kids that I should be, you know, um, coaching pretty soon. Now you're still a little active. Um, do you think this will help you in your game? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. I mean, I've seen it. I mean, I've seen it already. You know, I mean, because I, I tend to, you know, like train, you know, most seriously because I, I realize that the way you train, that's the way you play, you know, so it has, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I would say that I've benefited, you know, I mean, from the coaching already you know, in my personal game. Welcome here to the Cricket Board. We're very excited to announce our annual summer camps that started next week. That's Monday, Ju July 22nd, and they'll run for six weeks during the year. And we're very happy to be able to announce that we're using both Barclay Institute and Western Star. So there's going to be an incorporation of a lot more cricket playing, a lot more games, a lot more fun for the children. Now we, we accept people from 7 all the way up to 14. Uh, it's run by experienced teachers, international cricketers, all qualified coaches. Uh, so it's a safe, very fun environment. Now the camp runs, uh, it is, uh, we've got a 5.30 option. So if you want to pick up your child later, they don't have to leave at 3. They can stay there. Uh, for the balance of the day. The initial fee is 100 and if you want to take advantage of the 3 till 5.30 aftercare, that's an additional 50. So it's only $150 for 
you know, a quality camp, and we're very pleased to be to share that it's because of the contribution of Argus and of Argo, the Argo Foundation, have made it um, a contribution to allow us to keep the raid at this affordable level. So it's great value, great fun, and I encourage everyone to come out and play our favourite national sport. Now, years gone by, the Cricket Board used to have uh, camps, east and west and central. Um, matter of fact, it used to be east of four or five camps. Um, is is the, the rising cost of the economy uh, contributing to being able to really narrow it down to the two facilities or two venues? But it's certainly a factor. I mean, we used to have camps all over the island at the different club grounds, and, and for a while we centralised that. We found that a lot of parents preferred to have their children at a central venue for pick up and drop off, so we used Barclay. And we partnered with Stars to allow more cricket playing involved in that. So, you know, there are hard times, and that's why I'm particularly pleased that, you know, Argo and Argus have made this affordable to every family in the island.